Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Excellent and Protein X. In this tutorial video, I am going to show you the one of the protein database that is the Interpro database. How to use this database for finding any any unknown protein sequence or any protein um, domain you can find here. So this is uh, pretty much useful uh, database for specifically for any any specific domain how to how to get that domain of any proteins so this is the interpro database mainly for protein and uh, this is the url evi.ac.uk uh, this is a home page of this database so for the searching any any protein name so by that uh, you can you can find that under search option by text so you get uh, this box for typing your desired protein name so for example i'd like to check the spike proteins information and search so after that you get uh, this kind of a lot of information and different different virus and different virus and different um, spike put spike glycoproteins also they are in this right side there are some description about this spike protein what kind of spike protein you would like to go so for example i'd like to go for the first one that is a beta coronavirus so let's click this one so then you get uh, this small description uh, this is the overview that what kind of spike protein it is uh, as well as you get uh, some other information from in the left side that proteins taxonomy proteomes structure pathways so if you go by clicking any of this option like for proteins then the related uh, proteins it gonna show here so this is the all of this uh, spike uh, spike glycoprotein and different kind of virus it's showing here right so here for example i'd like to go here the spike glycoprotein middle east respiratory syndrome related coronavirus so this is pretty useful that uh, all of the spike protein related coronavirus which kind of coronavirus everything you can get here in the same database so it's showing the domain you see here if you scroll down a little bit so it's showing the, the different domain so these are the different domain so how many domain it it has you see uh, this and when you when you take your cursor here so it's showing that which domain it is so this is the s1 in terminal domain so so this is the the schematic one but you, you can also get uh, the 3d structure of this of this uh, spike protein from here and also this is the id so different different id so if you if you click there also you can get information that uh, specific and uh, domain so let me and the sequence so for this um, there are it's showing the 1353 amino acids so if you go directly to the sequence then you get the faster format of this sequence the, the spike protein so you can copy from here and you can um, you can use it accordingly so similar proteins also you get right so can move back and then i would like to go to the the sequence the structure first okay? so i can get the structure of this pack protein so here the crystal structure of different different spike protein is showing and the uh, source is the pdb database so if i go here the crystal structure of this maybe this one then you get the x and it's showing in the beginning that uh, what kind of uh, structure it is you see here this is showing that uh, it's access number and this is the x-ray crystallography resolution and chain, how many chains so here only two ten two chains are here so chain a and p so chain a and uh, scroll chain b so for that you can also get this 
at this point this structure you can zoom it so you get this crystal structure So you can get the full screen of this. And when you take your cursor, then it's showing that which uh, residue it is. And this is the spike put in uh, chain B. Alright. So here you see uh, this is pretty much good for getting this kind of 3D structure and faster format also and also get the reference so get back to those uh, those options then pathways so let's see that what is there under pa pathways option so in the pathways option also we get um, that that all kind of information like attachment and entry so uh, attachment and entry translation of structure proteins so if i go here then it shows so this is the it re, uh, redirect to the another another database that is a reactum org so from here you get uh, the additional information about that attachment uh, and other information all right so this is pretty much useful so i think you can use this software this database so if you find this database is helpful kindly hit the like button share it and subscribe my channel if you have any queries kindly write in the comment section thanks